Good day. So our topic for today is about shear modulus or what we call elasticity of shapes. So what is shear modulus? So it is the elastic modulus we use for the deformation which takes place when a force is applied parallel to one face of the object while the opposite face is held fixed by another equal force. So as you could see here in the GIF, diba? um, kapag um, tinulak yung isang portion ng um, object, kagaya dito, tinulak yung upper portion ng box. Diba? So nagkakaroon ng slight deformation. From its original position, napupunta siya, nagkakaroon ng change of displacement and napupunta siya sa another position. So, ayun yung dx natin. Meanwhile, yung, yung surface sa baba ay naiiwan. Okay. So, etong block natin sa illustration ay may height na L. Okay. And meron siyang cross-sectional um surface na E and kapag ang ang, ang block ay uh, naka-experience ng parallel force yan parallel force F ito ay magdi-displace and that is the tra um, theta x The shear stress is defined as the magnitude of the force per unit cross-sectional area of the face being sheared or uh, force divided by area. The shear strain is defined as um, displacement divided by length. Basta, um, ang tatandaan lang natin pag stress, it is the force. It's all about Uh, the force being exerted diba? and strain it is the displacement of the position or the displacement of the object diba? the shear modulus S is defined as the ratio of the stress to the strain so shear stress over shear strain is equal to diba? stress mo na tayo Force divided by area is equal to strain naman, displacement divided by length. And para maging shortcut na siya, um, magko-cross multiplication na lang. Kaya yung, yung strain ay yung length sa strain ay inakit na. Diba? Naging numerator na. And yung yung area sa stress ay binaba na into denominator. Kaya, ang mangyayari dito is um, force times length over area times displacement. So, the unit will be pascals. So, the bigger the shear modulus, the more rigid is the material. Since the same change in horizontal distance or strain, you will need a bigger force or stress. This is why the shear modulus is sometimes called the modulus of rigidity. So, ulitin, the higher the modulus, the higher the rigidity. So, what do we mean by rigidity pa? Rigidity is parang unable to bend. Diba? unable to deform kaya kapag mas mataas ang shear modulus directly proportional tumataas din ang rigidity and with that mas need ng mas mataas na force para magkaroon ng strain ang isang object To a first approximation, there is no change in volume in this deformation. The planes of atom merely slide sideways over one another. So as you could see from the um, GIF, diba? though nagkaroon ng pagbabago yung shape, diba? nag-slant 
yung shape niya um, hindi nagbago yung volume niya so ganun the same pa rin yung height yung width and yung length Note that in the diagram, since the block is not moving, there is a force F to the left on the bottom face which is not shown. So as you could see here, diba, pag tinulak natin ang isang object sa taas, diba, in shear modulus, mag madidisplace yung object. Diba? Kagaya dito sa picture, the object was um, uh, pushed uh, rightwards, diba? sidewards going to the right na nag-move yung upper part ng object but then yung ibabang surface o yung ibabang part ng object ay naiwan from its original position because the surface kung saan nakapatong yung object is uh, merong high friction and tinutulak naman ito oppositely kung saan mo tinutulak yung object kaya naiiwan yung ilalim na part and naitutulak mo yung upper part of the object. So, shear modulus is equal to shear stress over shear strain. So, ang formula ng shear stress is force multiply to length. Meanwhile, ang formula naman ng shear strain is area of section multiply to change in lateral length or the displacement so the equation of shear modulus is g is equal to sigma divided by epsilon or is equal to force times length divided by area times displacement So, makikita naman dito sa ilalim yung mga um, uh, meaning ng mga symbols. Yung G for shear modulus, sigma for shear stress, epsilon for strain, F for force applied, L for the length, ba? A for the area of section of the material, and uh, theta x for the displacement or the change in lateral length of the material after the force is applied. Okay, let's proceed to a sample problem. So, a thin square plate of dimensions 80 cm multiplied to 80 cm multiplied to 50 cm is fixed in a vertical on one on its smaller surfaces. If it is subjected to a shearing force of 2.8 times 10 raised to 4 newton at the top, the top face of the cube is displaced through 16, I point 16 meters with respect to the bottom surface. Find the shear modulus of the elasticity of material to the plate. Okay. So first. Um, let's state the givens, okay? So, we have a force of 2.8 raised to 4 newton. We have a length of 0.8 meters. We have an area of 0.4 meters squared. And lastly, we have a, the displacement of 0.16 meters. Now, next procedure is state the formula. So, our formula is shear modulus is equal to force times length divided by area times displacement. Next step, solve the problem. Okay, shear modulus is equal to 2.8 raised to 4 newton multiplied to 0.8 meters divided by 0.4 meters squared multiplied to 0.16 So, multiply nyo lang yung numerator and denominator. Ay, pag multiply nyo yung dalawang given sa numerator and dalawang given sa denominator, then divide it. So, state the answer. The answer would be, shear modulus is equal to 3.5 raised to 10 pascals. 
So that is the answer 